My name is Dina Sanford. I am a GI radiation oncologist at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to try to give a one-minute overview on the process of radiation therapy for rectal cancer. So first, we see patients in consultation will review the rationale for radiation therapy, pros and cons, potential early and late effects, and then all our cases are discussed at our multidisciplinary tumor board. If the decision is to proceed with radiation therapy, you'll be set up for a simulation appointment, which is also known as a mapping or planning session. During that appointment, we'll take measurements, make a mold of your body that you'll line every day so that you're in the same position, and also take a scan to plan the radiation. We can't use diagnostic scans you've had before because again, you need to be in the exact same treatment uh, position down to like millimeters of accuracy. That process takes an hour. You will usually need intravenous and oral contrast, which you will not be required to take on the day-to-day -day treatments. This is just an example of the CT simulator and also the VACLOC bag or the mold that you'll lie in during treatment. Um, then over the next week, the radiation oncologist, dosimetrist, physicist constructs a radiation plan tailored to your tumor and normal anatomy. It goes through rigorous quality assurance before your treatment starts. While on treatment, you'll have weekly scheduled visits with your radiation oncologist, but I always tell patients that if you're having concerns or symptoms, you don't need to wait till that scheduled day. You can just let the therapist know and they can connect you with your team sooner. This is a linear accelerator uh, where you'd be getting your daily treatment. Each treatment takes about 20 minutes. Uh, there's no anesthesia, so if you drive yourself, you can continue doing that during the treatments. Radiation for rectal cancer is now most commonly given over five weeks, so there is also a one-week regimen. And usually side effects are most intense towards the latter part of treatment and maybe a week or so after. And the most common ones would be diarrhea or skin irritation. After radiation is done, you'll be followed by your, your multidisciplinary team to determine the next steps in treatment, monitor for side effects, and eventually in post-therapy surveillance. I hope that was helpful.